everyone and <laughs> good morning. I haven't spoken yet today. Was that obvious in my voice cracking? Hello everyone. So today I've got a foundation review that I'm, I'm really nervous <laughs> about testing this out. This is what you guys want to see. So, so, so this is, that's what I'll do. This is currently the super talked about Dermacol Film Studio Barandov. Why am I even trying? This is the Dermacol makeup cover foundation. I got mine in the shade 208 and I've just, I've heard some things about this stuff. I hear it is like extra full coverage so you have to be very careful with how much you use on your face and then I also hear that it's like extra greasy looking throughout the day so I'm like <laughs> with my very oily skin, we're in for a ride with this one. So actually, usually I would go into reading off of the website and everything to learn about the product. I will be doing that. I just want to put on a primer and give this time to let it sink in and everything because this primer needs time. I feel like I'm cheating by using this Bosha primer because it is a mattifying primer, but with how greasy people say this is, the foundation is. I'm just, this is how nervous I am. This is how very extra, extra nervous I am. So I'm just gonna pat this in where I get the oiliest, which is, you know, basically my whole face, but doobity doo, skibbity scat. I'm just gonna put a bit of primer on the rest of my face, my normal primer. All right, so now that that is on my face, let's go ahead and check out Dermacol's website, read about the foundation, because other than what I told you already, I really don't know too much about the claims or anything, so let's go ahead and do that. Like I said, this is the Dermacol Makeup Cover, legendary high covering makeup. The benefits slash claims are that it is waterproof, hypoallergenic for all skin types, it has an SPF of 30, and is preservative free. The coverage is extremely extreme not just full parentheses extreme da, 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 hollywood i don't know what the typical amount of pigment in a foundation is but this contains 50 percent and will provide perfect coverage even in thin layers and is the perfect corrector for dark under eye unpleasant spots and skin blemishes completely covers acne loss of pigmentation post-surgical bruising tattoos etc it is widely used as a professional makeup for photo or for film shoots, modeling, and for festive occasions. It comes in 13 different shades. The second shade is actually lighter than the first shade, but overall this really seems to cater towards lighter skin tones. I mean, the deepest that it goes is number 224. I don't think I need to tell you that that is not deep. That is a light tan, if you ask me. It says that it's gonna give outstanding coverage with a natural looking finish and will have a velvety matte appearance. To use, choose the right color shade for your skin. Well, I did try my best. Then gently tap the makeup onto your skin with either your fingers or a dampened makeup sponge. So I am nervous, but we can do this. Oh, and I didn't mention, I did purchase this off of Amazon. That's where I see most people buy it. I saw it listed online on Walmart's website. So, I mean, I don't know if you can find it in stores there, but I got mine off Amazon for around $15. I think this number 208 shade must be the most popular or something because it was way more expensive than the other ones. The other shades were like around the $10, $11 range, I think. I mean, you know, this was way more expensive. It was a few more bucks more expensive, but it was more expensive in any case. Either way, it's still a super cheap foundation if you ask me. I mean, drugstore foundations are usually typically in that $10 to $15 range nowadays anyways. So this is definitely a YouTube made me buy it. So let's go ahead and sing the song together and then we can get on into finally putting this on my face. YouTube made me buy it and now I'm gonna try it. Yeah. All right, let's open this up. Ooh. Now that is a pretty tube. Oh, oh, it feels like a paint tube. Like a nice oil paint tube where it's made out of like that aluminum type stuff. Oh, feels so fancy. Hear that? Weeka weeka. It's like a raised, almost glittery type. Oh, I really like that packaging. And then it looks like it comes with, I don't know, something in here. Oh, basically all of the things that I probably just read to you so great all right so let's go ahead and see is there a beloved safety seal 
Yeah, like a paint tube. Oh, this is just making the artist in me so happy. So if you didn't know, with these kind of safety seals, you use this little poker thingy on the top of the cap and you uh, you puncture it, which is kind of, I like it, but I hate it, because then it's like, now I've got that little thing of foundation in there. Let's see, I got like a little bit from the top of that. Ooh, this looks ultra pink in undertone. I was so not sure about what shade to get for myself. Because people said that this number 208 being the lightest shade that it actually is pretty darn pale but then I was also warned that the second shade is like way darker than this so I was like <sighs> what to do what to do so I went with number 208 but dang this has a long expiration on it look at that 2021 jeez <laughs> hope I'm still alive in 2021 I mean, I don't know why I wouldn't be, but... All right, so I really don't have too much going on with my skin at the moment. I've got a little redness on a scar there, and then I've got this honker right on my cheek. Oh my God, it hurts. Other than that, it's just like the typical, some, you know, dark spots and uneven redness and all that. So, are you too zoomed in? Are you uncomfortable? There you go. So I'm gonna start small. I, I don't... Dude, this is like legit paint. I feel like maybe even this was too much to start out with, but I just, I don't know. Oh no. Oh my. So, got my beauty blender here. Let's get this hair out of my face. Let's see how this does. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, that is some coverage. But like at the same time, it doesn't look super duper heavy on the skin. I mean, it looks like I'm wearing a very full coverage foundation, but it doesn't look like cakey. This is why I don't put foundation on my eyes. Like how, there, I guess you just like blend it out, but okay, okay. Look at that. And I'm even able to like bring it up with my sponge to my forehead and that like covered that redness completely. Hoo -hoo! So there you can see half of my face with and half of my face without. Oh my lordy. Now I feel like I definitely have to put it on my eyes even though that's just gonna turn into a cakey crazy mess on me, but whatever. Okay, there. Look at how even. And this shade is definitely too light for me. <laughs> can you? I'm sure you can tell. But you know, this is what I'm working with today. So this is what I'm working with today. Hopefully I blended it all right. I'm gonna squirt out about the same amount here. And I just, I wanna see how this does with a brush. Because I am a curious creature. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. So you get a much fuller coverage with a brush. Oh my god. <laughs> Which I feel is pretty standard with a brush. This is so light on me. <laughs> oh, I look dumb. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna try and shear this out with my beauty blender. I know people are probably screaming at me through the screen right now. You used too much. I'm sorry, it was my first time. I didn't know. Okay, I think I blended that out. I tried, I tried. But yeah, I would definitely say forego using a brush with this because, I mean, unless you want that kind of coverage. But I think with a sponge shearing it out, this is full enough for me. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna cap this because, oh my God, stop me now. I don't think it looks awful on my skin as you can see close up. I mean, it looks like I'm wearing a full coverage foundation, but that's because 
I am wearing a full coverage foundation and it's not my shade. <laughs> but I think for a full cover foundation, it looks very natural. It's got a satiny finish on me, I would say. But it doesn't look like it's settled into my pores or anything too crazily. Now that I'm looking, I want to cover up this blemish of mine just a little bit more. So I'm taking a little bit of what was still in the cap. Ah, oh, that was probably too much. Just so we can see how and if this builds. I mean, I have no doubts, yeah, that that will build up. <laughs> and it sure did. So yeah, I almost feel like this is more of a concealer. <laughs> a concealer that you could also wear as a foundation if you're into that. And there we go, beautiful. Oh my God, this is so pale on me. Okay, well, here it is. This is what I'm gonna be working with today. God, I'm so nervous. My nose is itchy, but this feels like the kind of foundation where if you touch your face at all, it's just gonna smear right off. But like, it feels like a suctiony smear though. Like it doesn't feel like the kind of smear where it's like greasy, oily dripping off of your face. It feels like a creamy, I'm stuck to your face, but if you touch it, it's gonna come off type of a feeling. But we'll see, maybe with time that will go away. I am going to go ahead and put on the rest of my makeup. By the time that I check in with you all, it will probably be about an hour or so from now. I'm going to be testing out another lip product today, so I've got to film that. I also need to film one of my mini tutorial things for my upcoming Tardis Pro Palette overall review thing, so those always take me a little time. I just wanted to let you guys know it'll be a little more than like my usual five or 10 minutes between snap transitions. It's currently 11.48 in the more noon. I will be seeing you in just a second here on YouTube land. Ready? Ding! All right, so like I said, it has actually been an hour and a half since checking in with you guys. It's about 1.30 right now. I'm unsure about this foundation. I mean, I think for me, I can already tell this isn't something that I would personally wear by itself. I would use this more as a concealer or like a mix-in if I really want a heavy pigmented product. But either way, here you go. It doesn't look like it's working too well with my Bosha primer, like you can see in my pores. It just looks like it's collecting strangely. And you can already see it is not doing so great with my glasses, but I mean for a super full coverage foundation it doesn't look awful. I just don't think it looks great. Can you kind of see on my chin there how it's kind of starting to gather and look a little bit cakey. And in terms of the flash photo test, I mean, aside from the fact that this is the wrong shade on me, I think it looks great in the flash photo. I can definitely see why they said that photographers and stuff use this foundation on their clients or models because it looks pretty dang flawless in that photo. But that being said, I have got a day ahead of me here. I have to go get my nails done because oh man, are they grown out and looking janky. Definitely stopping at my P.O. box and then I think I'll be home for a little bit here and doing some more video stuff and then going over I think to Carmen's like usual to watch RuPaul's Drag Race tonight and eat and drink and be merry and then come home do some editing some work and all that kind of stuff. I have got a day ahead of me and I'm excited as always to bring you guys along with me and see how this foundation ends up holding in on my skin or holding on on my skin whatever form of English you want to use. Take your pick, Cassie English or Correct English. Either way, I will see you all very soon here on YouTube land. Bye. You going somewhere? Got your big boy shoes on, huh? And by big boy, I mean mom's shoes. My shoes. Yeah. I just got back from getting my nails done and going to the post office. As you can hopefully see, it's just a little bit after four o'clock here. And I don't feel greasy at all, but I think as you can see, I've got some stuff going on when I remove my glasses. This stuff it comes off on your glasses rims, which is really annoying. 
And not to mention it just looks silly. And it is looking ultra cakey in my nose crease and also around my mouth. Like around here. And yeah, it just like smears right on out of there. I'll try and blend that in a little bit. But otherwise, I mean, I think it looks good on my forehead and stuff. I don't feel greasy, but I'm just gonna blot for good measure here. I don't know, you guys. I feel like it's really only coming off where I had the Bosha primer. So maybe this just doesn't mix well with that primer. As you can see, I was getting oily. But right, like on my nose and stuff. And then on my forehead. And then this part of my chin. But other than that, it feels good. It feels like a lightweight full coverage foundation, if you get what I'm saying so far. Like, it feels very lightweight for a full coverage foundation, is what I'm trying to say. But either way, I think that is going to do it for my check-in for now. I've got some other videos I want to film. I need to eat something. I had a special K-bar this morning at 9. And I haven't eaten since then. So uh, I'm very hungry. So I'm going to go make myself a salad and film my videos. And then I will be checking in with you all soonish, as per usual. So I'll see you all then. Bye! <laughs>well be the end of the night here. It is currently 10.40, oh, 8 in the evening. I am sorry I didn't check in with you earlier while I was at Carmen's place. I totally, I thought I had, but in reality I had just checked in on the lipstick, so at the time I didn't feel greasy or needing to check in or anything, so maybe that counts for something. I am starting, now that I'm home though and I was just getting started editing a video, I just feel like this kind of is at that point of no return. You know what I mean? Well, if you have oily skin, I think you know what I mean. As you can see, this has not lasted all day, like at all, underneath my glasses, be it the pads or where the frames touch my cheeks. It's just one of those ones where like the instant any sorts of oils or anything come out on your skin, it just seems to kind of like pill and flake and schmear off. It's got that like greasy, heavy feeling to it, which a lot of people warned me about that it does get pretty greasy throughout the day for good measure. I mean, I'm sure you guys believe me about my grease levels, but this is fucking especially greasy, even though I did use that Bosha primer. So with this Dermacol foundation, I'm gonna say as a foundation, I don't like it, but I can totally see myself using this as like a foundation mix-in, maybe if I need to lighten a foundation or if I just want to amp up the coverage or heck, maybe even using it to like spot conceal or something. I could see this being great for that, especially at the price point, you know? But for me, it just didn't hold up as a foundation as a whole. I knew this going in, you know, considering it is supposed to be a heavy duty foundation. I knew that this was just gonna be a bit too full coverage for my personal taste, but this is gonna depend on your foundation loves, you know? Do you like a heavier full coverage foundation or do you like a lighter light medium coverage like I do? If that's the case, you're probably not gonna like this. But if you do like that full coverage kind of glam look, then this is probably gonna be a really good pick for you and a good budget friendly one as well if it comes in your color. You guys can obviously tell me if you have tried this and you have different skin types how it worked for you. I feel like it might not be great for dry skin, but I feel like if you have normal skin where it's like not dry, not oily, it's just 
normal, I feel like this is gonna wear really beautifully on that kind of a skin type. Because I mean, for a full coverage foundation, it was lightweight in the beginning until, you know, the end of the night here when my oil started coming through. If you have oily skin, I know you know the feeling that I'm talking about, where it just, it feels heavier. Like it feels like it's holding the weight of your oils and it just feels like it's gonna slip slide any moment and it does. If you touch it at all it just comes right off on your fingers. So in terms of putting all of my thoughts and feelings numerically I have got my pause system so that you guys can see whether or not you're going to want to get your pause on this product. P stands for price, A is for application, W is for wear, and S is for shade range. For price it is super ch like I mean, it's not ultra cheap, but it's in the drugstore realm of things. I don't feel like you can get foundations too, too much cheaper, so I'm gonna give it a four. For application, I feel like if you use a beauty blender, a damp sponge like they say to, I think it blended out beautifully and did a really good job with application. So I'm gonna disregard the brush side and just go with the suggested method that they gave. Application was very nice and easy from what I remember. So I'm gonna give it a five on application. Where I did not like the way that it wore for the most part, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a two on that. And then for shade range, it's not a good shade range if you ask me. I mean, if you have light to light tan skin, sure. And they do have a lot of colors within that range, but you know what I mean? So I'm gonna give it... I'll give it a three and a half. How about? So that is a 14 and a half out of 20 or a 3.625 out of 5 stars. I think that sums it up pretty darn well, you know? It was a decent product, not my favorite, but it wasn't horrible. And I can see how and where it will work well for me in the future. But what is really important, I just hope that you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful in seeing whether or not this is going to be a product that you are going to want to test out for yourself, especially while it is ultra hyped here on YouTube like it is right now. If it was, please do go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. I would really appreciate it. And if you're new here, Hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more content from me in the future. I would love to have you here. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye!